For some Christians living in pockets of Egypt, Ramadan is a particularly special time of year. Hania Mohib has more on the open hearts, open door policy of a community in Cairo. This group of 20 and 30-somethings has come together in the popular Cairo district of Masr al Qadima to give their time to help the needy of society. They are putting together Ramadan boxes filled with basic food items and provisions that were given in donation. The group includes both Muslim and Christian volunteers. Landlord Atif William has been hosting the activities of the organization called Helm Stablantar for the past three years. This is what my late father taught us. The closest people to us are our neighbors, and the religion doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you are Muslim or Christian. In my opinion, being religious is all about treating people well. Atif is seen as a kind-hearted, charitable Christian man within the local community. As for Mr. Atif, we can't thank him enough. He always offers us the space to prepare and he allows us to store the food during Ramadan. He does it with so much love. He even hires people to help us. Much like Masr al Qadima, the middle class district of Shubra is considered to have a high level of tolerance and social coexistence with friendly residents. Each year, Ramadan tables are set for passers-by to help themselves as the sun sets. This tent will house an iftar table that has been in operation for almost 40 years. What is somewhat unique is that the main organizer, Gamil Banayoti, is a Christian. He is a modest man who works alongside elderly men who were teenagers when the activity first started. Gamil lives alone, but his home has the presence of family and friends. He also cherishes members of the good old days. Our table is called the National Unity Table, and it's something we work hard on together. Both Muslims and Christians are here to offer food to people who need it. We would never say no to anyone. And my personal attachment to Ramadan began in 1973. Gamil and his neighbors are very proud to have kept this activity going for such a long time. And nothing goes to waste, with the end of one iftar marking preparations for the next. <laughs>